My name is Alex Paulosa and I'm a figurative sculptor. What that means is that I create art using either clay or paint to create figures, which is the human form. Either it can be a portrait of somebody or a family or creating a full figure, the entire body or in clay of a person. To me, art is a way of living, a way of expressing, and when I get to create art for others, I feel like it's an opportunity to get to meet other people, get to know them, and get to tell their stories. I grew up in Lima, Peru in my childhood, and moved to New Jersey when I was 11 years old. I came to Chattanooga because I saw the growth of the arts that was happening and I also knew of, of other artists that were moving to the area and I wanted to meet them and be part of that growth. When I have a commission, especially portrait sculptures, I try to dig into the person's story, like have conversations with them. Sometimes we do two to three different sessions of just talking to, to my client so I can hear about what is that they like, what motivates them, what encourages them, so I can get to know them a little bit more. A commission is when someone hires you to create a piece of art, and with that comes an, an agreement, which is like with both parties are agreeing that you're going to create a piece of work, and they're agreeing that they're going to pay you for that work. My sculpting process starts from when I meet that client because I'm already, even though I might not have a pencil or, or, or paper in my hand, I'm already sketching in my head how this sculpture is going to look. To create a sculpture, what I do is I use a wire and a PVC pipe an armature. An armature is the, what is going to support the clay. So. What I do is I first cut the PVC pipes, which is a plastic pipe that is going to replicate kind of like the, the skeleton of my sculpture. Then I use the wire to create the, some of the form. Sometimes I will use foam with the armature. That way makes my sculpture a little bit lighter and also I use less clay when creating the, the sculpture. After I have my skeleton, you know, my armature ready, I start adding clay, but thinking already on the proportions. So if it's a head, I start already trying to replicate kind of like the shape of the skull, of the neck, and how far out the shoulders are going to be. Then something that I recommend many artists to, especially if you want to pursue figurative sculpting, is to learn a little bit of the artist's anatomy. So then you start kind of like incorporating the movement of the muscles, how they sit on the head or on the body. Once the sculpture is completed, the clay model is done, I use a silicon rubber to create a mold out of it. Once I have the rubber, I use either plaster or hard resin to create a shell on top of the rubber. And what that does is that it holds the rubber in place, especially when you have to do the casting. And casting is when you are either going to pour plaster or plastic or bronze into the mold. If the client or if I want to create this piece and cast it in bronze or any other metal, then what I'll do is I send these molds to my foundry. Then the foundry, what they're going to do, they're going to pour liquid wax in it. And they're going to create a cast copy of my sculpture in wax. Once they have that mold, they're going to pour the liquid bronze into it. My advice for whoever wants to become a sculptor, I would say don't be scared of making mistakes because I've learned that in art, there's actually no mistakes, there's challenges. Each challenge is a way of learning how to grow. 